Hi, welcome to Simply Good Kitchen, cooking at home with Bill and Shani Apodaca. I'm Shani Apodaca, my husband Bill is the cameraman today. We're gonna show you how to make vanilla ice cream. So we have a quart of cream, we have some vanilla bean paste, we have a cup of sugar, and we have four egg yolks, and a little bit of salt we'll add in there. So what we wanna do is come to the stove. We want to put our cream in the pan. When you're making ice cream, make sure you use a pan that's deep enough because once this stuff starts to boil and if it comes over the pot, you'll never make ice cream again because it's too much to clean up. So we're not going to do that. We got a four quart pot here for our one quart of cream. All right, our cream has come up to a boil. It's boiled for one minute. Our sugar crystals have dissolved. And now what I'm going to do is take it over to the egg yolks to temper can't handle a little warm. So what we're gonna do, I've got hot liquid going into my egg yolks. I don't wanna put too much hot liquid in and cause them to scramble. Continual whisking motion. And we're gonna put just a little bit of the hot cream and sugar in there. So there we go. We've got our cream in our bowl with our egg yolks and our sugar. Now we're gonna bring this back to the stove. I'm gonna put it back over the heat. And then what we wanna do is just bring it up to a little bit what we call a quick boil. Now we're reading 192 degrees. That means if there's bacteria there, it's gone. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here. A teaspoon of our vanilla bean paste. You'll see this vanilla bean paste, it's What's nice about it is it's the entire vanilla bean that they have pulverized up in a simple syrup. So we get a big vanilla flavor where extract is just vanilla that has been put in a bottle of alcohol and they extract the uh, liquid off of it. I need a little help from my cameraman. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna strain this just in case I scrambled any of my uh, eggs. And then Bill's showing you that we have a water bath there. So now we've strained it. And now what we have to do is let this sit in this water bath until this comes down to 60 degrees in temperature. Once it's at 60, we can put it in our ice cream maker and spin it. All right, we're back. Our ice cream base has cooled down. You can see we are, should be 60 degrees. Eh, what am I reading? 62. So as soon as this, oh, there we go, 60 degrees, 61 degrees. We are cold enough to uh, start spinning this. So I'd like to explain to you how these ice cream machines work. It's an electric base. You turn it on, you can hear the motor churning in it. You have your base that you put in the freezer. That has to freeze solid for at least 24 hours before you're gonna use it. This is your auger or your churner that goes in, and then the lid, locks it in. Now we take our ice cream. So this is our vanilla ice cream. We're going to pour it into the machine. You can see how easy this is. And then scrape our bowl. And now this is going to take about 20 minutes and we will have self-serve soft ice cream. Well, our time has elapsed. Our ice cream is ready. Bill showing you that there. Beautiful soft serve. We're going to turn this off. Pull this up. And then, see, so yeah, let me get rid of this out of the way here. And now you can see when you pull that auger out, the ice cream is perfect. 